Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. And welcome back to your new news. Well, the latest USDA crop progress report reveals that only 5% of our nation's intended spring wheat acreage has been planted this spring. Even though this is running behind the five-year average of 22%, believe it or not, it's actually slightly ahead of last year's dismal pace of 3%. Planning in Montana is the farthest advanced, though they say at 10% compared to 20% on average. South Dakota has put in about 2% of its acres compared to 47%. Meanwhile, planting is just getting underway in Minnesota and North Dakota. In some other news, attorneys have filed a class action lawsuit in federal district court in Chicago on behalf of RCAF USA, along with four cattle feeding ranchers out of Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Wyoming. The suit alleges the nation's four largest beef packers violated U.S. antitrust laws, the Packers and Stockyards Act, along with the Commodity Exchange Act by unlawfully depressing the prices paid to U.S. ranchers. RCAP USA CEO Bill Bullard told me this week it's an historic action. Well, we've long promised our members that we would not let the highly concentrated meat packers take control over the live cattle supply chain like they've already done in the poultry and hog industries, and that the cattle producers themselves are standing up to defend the competitiveness of their industry and their future opportunities to be profitable in this industry without the Packers being able to control the supply chain. Now the complaint was filed against Tyson Foods, JBS, Cargill, as well as National Beef. The class action lawsuit seeks to recover losses by two classes believed harmed by the meat processor's alleged conduct, conduct from January of 2015 to the present. And finally, the Montana Department of Agriculture is reminding producers to get covered through the state hail insurance program. Montana producers can conveniently access and fill out applications for the state hail insurance online by visiting the program's website. Now, producers can insure crops against hail damage at the maximum coverage rate of 75 bucks an acre for dryland and $114 per acre for irrigated ground. An application for insurance and more details about payment options have been mailed to those producers who have previously purchased state hail insurance. Stay with us. We'll have more Ag News right after this. Well, the farmer's share of the food dollar has reached an all-time low. For every dollar U.S. consumers spend on food, U.S. food producers and ranchers earn just 14.6 cents, according to a new USDA report. This value marks a 17% decline since 2011, and the smallest portion of the U.S. food dollar farmers have received since the USDA began reporting the data in 1993. The remaining 85.4 cents cover off-farm costs like processing, wholesaling, distribution, marketing, and retailing. The National Farmers Union's President Roger Johnson says the data, among other economic conditions, shows we are in the midst of an agricultural financial crisis. That does it from the Ag Desk. Have a great day.